world, GC Game here, and this is another episode of Football Manager 2016 up to Pompey. Last time you saw me and we heard from each other was a few weeks ago, so I apologize for that. I had to go and have an operation, so I've kind of been out of action for a couple of weeks. Now I'm back, better than ever, and i um, ready to bring you the next episode. So last time we spoke there was 10 games left and we could make the championships with 10 games remaining. Unfortunately, just as usual, Portsmouth underachieve. We finished with 67 points, a full 7 points away from the championship playoffs. And um, I was kind of disappointed by that to be honest. But let's have a look at those last 10 games. So the last 10 games of the season... Um, if we look here, we we didn't do terribly. We just didn't do good enough. Um, so here are the last ten games of the season. Quick little review. Uh, we started off really well. Uh, played Sunderland, and we got a three nil victory. Delator, Ryan Ken, and Joe Walsh with the goals. Uh, Middlesbrough we drew against. A bit disappointing. Um, because we were the better team against Middlesbrough, and we drew. Uh, Brahim Konate got the goal early against Bristol City, and we hung on for the game. Um, Cameron Carter-Vickers and Jordan Siabachu got two go got a goal each in the 2-1 win over Yeovil. And then we went on a bad run of form. A 0-0 against Blackburn, a loss against Brentford, a draw against Huddersfield, and a loss against Leicester. Two wins... Ipswich and Leicester and Everton and then a loss to finish the season unfortunately by that point it didn't really matter what the result was as we were not going up anyway so I'm a dis bit disappointed to miss out on promotion yet again to the Skybet Championship but let's have a quick look at the squad uh, look at how people have done this season so uh, this season has been an up and down season. Uh, pretty good overall because we're still relatively new in the championship so it's not a big deal um, that we didn't go up straight away but these are the best players over the last five games. Uh, May has been really good. vizinga has been playing quite a bit recently and he's been good. He's someone I'd love to get in the future but unfortunately if I go to make an offer for him now and I offered 2.7 million. Oh, before they were asking for 20 million, so perhaps that's why they were a bit crazy. But he has got a minimum release clause of 14.75, so perhaps that's something that might happen in the future. Uh, Ryan Kent has been playing pretty well in the last five games as well. Brahim Konate has been playing well all season. Connor Chaplin's had a game as a sub, uh, didn't really do much. So apart from that, here is the average rating for the entire season. Not a surprise to see two guys at the top, Adam May and Vazinga, who's been playing the last few games of the season. Hayden White has been playing great as always. Hayden White is an absolute legend. Brahim Konate, also a legend. Jordan Rossiter, also a legend. And when I say legend, I don't just mean legend as in I think they're amazing, but they're becoming legends at the club. Hayden White is a legend. Jordan Rossiter is an icon. Um, and unfortunately, for some reason, I don't know why, but Brahim Konate is not quite there yet. He should be really. He's only been here for two seasons, but look at that form in two seasons. 7.54 last season, 7.23 this season. He's been absolutely outstanding. So I'm not sure why he's only on a seven. Uh, why he's only on a not even favoured personnel list. Anyway, uh, Joe Kobo still hasn't quite done what I expected him to do. I expected him to come into the championship and play really, really well. He did play well when he was asked upon, but unfortunately he couldn't force himself into the first team. Still has decent potential, but unfortunately I don't think he's going to be quite the player I wanted. So if we have a quick look at our transfers, um, we have confirmed that Yunus Kabuni and Hachim Mastur two Moroccan internationals are going to come to the club so that's pretty good for next season to improve our squad a little bit um, 
out, nobody so far. Um, but apart from that, I don't think I'm going to have too much money to spend next season, and I'm probably not going to be able to buy many players. I'm not sure if we looked at Miguel Luis last time. Uh, he's somebody I got in on a free just because he has some potential. Um, I don't know if he'll ever reach it, but it was kind of a, a random signing. Free transfer. I thought, why not? Put him on £275 a week. If he turns out to be good, he turns out to be good. If not, it's not a big deal. Came on twice as a sub in the Skybet Championship in those last few games of the season. And uh, played pretty well. Got a 7.8 against Leicester and a 6.8 against Ipswich. So there's signs that he could be a good player in the future. Um, so we'll see how that goes. As for players, Kenneth McAvoy is injured. Uh, he's got a groin strain right now. Um, I am trying to learn out our sub goalkeeper. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name anymore. Uh, there's a few players like Ricardo Bagadur I'll probably get rid of. Uh, Connor Chaplin might get rid of as well. He just hasn't reached, reached his potential. Um, Vivaldi Kayimbe came in and played okay when he was asked upon, but mostly as a sub. So apart from that, there's not many players I have to get rid of. I would like to see uh, Jordan Siabatu score a few more goals. He's only scored 9 in 30 starts and 17 subs, whereas Delator scored 9 in 17 starts and 3 subs. Um, so we still need someone who can score a few more goals. I think that's one of our problems, if we look at the league table, is in our goal scoring. Um, if we look throughout the season, I score... I scored 52 goals and conceded 51. So my defense is pretty good. My defense is up there with some of the best teams in the league. If we just look at defense, I'd be in the playoffs. But if we look at goals scored, I am one of the lowest goals scored in the league. Let's actually look at that. Um, stats, team detailed, and stats, team detailed. Okay, yeah. So if you look at, where is it? Goals scored. Goals. Wolves have 80. I am tied 20th with 52. If we look at goals conceded, QPR conceded the least with 36. I'm 7th with 51. So it wasn't easy to score against us, but we just found it difficult to score. Perhaps this future transfer of Hachim Mastur could help. He can play attacking midfield or striker. He's got good dribbling, good crossing, but not great finishing. So I'm hoping that he can set up some goals rather than score them. Even though he scored 10 in Serie C with Brescia. Um, but apart from that, I, I might need to buy a new striker. And to be honest, Jordan Siabatu... I don't know if I can keep him. 1.3 million. I know he's relatively young, 24, but he just hasn't he hasn't done what I thought he was going to do. I thought he was going to get this. I thought he was going to get like 17 goals or more. But he didn't. So I might need to transfer him out. So goals for next season. I want to improve on our finish. I would love to be in the playoffs next season. I would love to get maybe 6 next season just scrape in the playoffs and see how we do there I'm not expecting automatic promotion because I still think our squad needs some improvement but I would like to see us get into the top six if we look at our team report um, and we look at comparison all positions um, you'll see that we've actually got some some decent stats decisions and first touch are good Passing, pretty decent. Strength, pretty good. The problem we have right now is is uh, we are the worst team at work rate and aggression. So I might need a few players who kind of can kick ass, to put it bluntly. As for our attack, finishing with 15th in the league. Jumping, we're top of the league, which is nice. So we're okay for attack. Midfield... That's where we're losing some ground. Defense, not so good at heading and jumping. So we might be conceding goals a lot from corners. So it's interesting to look at some of this stuff. Um, also, I would like to quickly 
look at where is it? Squad, squad depth, our squad depth. Now you'll notice that lots of our best players in different positions are on loan. That's something that as we get into more seasons into the championship and definitely as we get into the Premier League, I don't want to rely on loans to be our best players. Even though they haven't been playing all of the time, apart from Carter's Vickers, they haven't been playing quite as much as our, our normal starting players. But, I mean, Jordan Wasseter has because he's a legend. But really, there's not many people in our squad who are like s players who are permanent contracts who actually like are amazing in their positions. I mean, they're good, they're just not amazing. So that's one thing I would like to improve. Adam May has come on outstandingly this season. Uh, he started to play a lot. Um, this is the first season where he's been kind of a first team regular and he's been amazing. So he could continue to improve, but already he's a decent player for Premier Division sides. So I'm happy with him. Labyad, Zakaria Labyad, came in and he's been the best player on the left wing, but his performances haven't really shown that yet. So I'm hoping that next season he can push on a little bit and do a little bit better. If we look at our finances before we leave, I'm 2.5 million in the red. It's not a big deal, to be honest. We will get more money as the season progresses, uh, as we go through pre-season and so on. That's where we get a lot of money. I don't predict we'll get too much of a transfer budget or too much of a wage budget, but we will see. The board, of course, are very happy with me because if we look at the board confidence, I am doing better than expected in competitions, better in matches, better in club stature, in transfers, club philosophies, we don't have any, and then club finances and squad harmony are both doing well. So overall, I think they should be happy with me and hopefully we'll get a new contract, maybe improve some of our stats such as um, reputation, team discipline, loyalty to players, some of these coaching stats too, and maybe they'll let me go on a coaching course. Ah, uh, they won't let me. But apart from that, I'm pretty happy with how the season's progressed. I'm going to keep the same tactic. Uh, I have been using two tactics on and off, just to remind you. Pompey 1 which is retain possession, clear ball to the flanks, look for overlap, play wider, close down more and a higher tempo, and Pompey 2, which just replaces a defensive midfield with an advanced playmaker. So if there's anything else you'd like me to look at, any players you would specifically like me to look at, please let me know in the comments below. I love making these videos, so if you like them, please just hit that like button. It's a simple thing, but it makes me really happy when I see extra likes. And comment, subscribe, say hello, even if you're just a lurker. Sign up to YouTube if you're not already. Say hello. Ask me how my day is going. That would be nice. So thank you again for watching. Good night.